What's up, fellow Passport Kings? I'm Rock Land, artist, writer, and event director. I'm also the creator and CEO of Passport Kings. On tonight's episode, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna show you three easy ways to save a lot of money on your next overseas trip. Stay tuned, I'll be right back after this. Engage. This episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by the new book by Rockland called Why Do I Keep Choosing Thugs? Pick up your copy of the suspenseful romantic thriller at Amazon.com right now or just buy it for a friend to support the Passport Kings movement. Before I get into today's tips, I want to address an I want to address the new direction the Passport Kings Network is going in. As you may have heard, I've canceled the Rockland News Daily Show so I could dedicate all my time to Passport Kings. In the past, my co-host Derail and I were doing these shows mainly for fun. And it showed. We were just letting our friends and family see where we've been and what we've been up to. But from now on, the new official Passport Kings channel, I'm going to do research on my locations and create editorials to make a cohesive show worth watching each and every week. So if you haven't yet, subscribe below while I tell you about all the new services and features that I'll be offering coming up weekly on Passport Kings. Since I had this platform and you weren't interested enough in it to subscribe to it, I may as well use it for positive fun and information that you can use when traveling locally and abroad. I remember when the travel bug first bit me, it had me wanting to see the world as much as possible and as fast as possible. There were a few things I wish someone would have told me early on to save me some time and money. So from now on, Password Kings on YouTube will be your go-to spots to find to find out about one research and common sense things for you to do when visiting exotic locations too. How to save money when traveling so you can get where you want to go for cheap so you can spend more money on what you want instead of travel expenses and three i'll announce the newest members of the passport kings family subscribe below and start that process oh and four of course you know of course i'm gonna show you the videos pictures of my own travels we'll review fun and not so fun locations and when our next trips will be so you could be with like-minded individuals traveling in groups is more fun this show will be great production and 100% interesting and professionally made, but of course, I welcome your suggestions and comments. You can follow me and the rest of the Passport Kings on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and everywhere else. These shows will be short and to the point as much as possible. I'll also be consistent as I possibly can, so when I say a new show is coming out, it'll come out. By the looks of things, I have a new episode every Wednesday until further notice. So subscribe below and check out my website for everything else. When you become a Passport King, you become a Passport King for life. Yeah, I know what I mean. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the day, out of the way, without further ado, here are the three easy steps for you to save some money on your next vacation abroad. Number one, avoid the touristy restaurants with those We Speak English signs. The spots you want to fill with locals, they serve more authentic food for less money. I look for a short handwritten menu in the local language only. Why travel all the way to a different country so you can eat the same food that you can eat here? Go with the daily specials and be adventurous. Number two, in most of my travels I've come to realize that cars are worthless. Rentals cost too much and they're a headache in big cities. If you want to see more, then one city in a country, pick up your rental in the first big city and drop it off when you get to your destination because pay, paying $20 a day to store a $40 car is an expensive mistake. Number three, when buying airline tickets, be flexible with dates and locations. For some reason, flying on Saturdays and Tuesdays will usually get you to your destination for about half off the price. Also, go down to the airport and buy your tickets. Believe me, I thought that that was a dumb idea too when I first heard about it, but I guarantee that I brought tickets for almost 70% off by buying them there. Just make sure you're 14 to 20 days ahead of your trip when you go. The last minute will always get you caught up, caught up with high prices. There's just no way around it. Going to New York on Christmas is going to be expensive no matter what you do. But go to the Caribbean islands in the fall. Yeah, it's hurricane season, but if you travel with confidence and a positive attitude, you usually won't get caught in one. I haven't yet. In most cases, no one wants to kidnap you. Alright? So stop acting like that. Man up. 
U.S. Americans can sometimes think we're the center of the universe. I've even heard silly non-passport kings say that foreign governments would be in on their kidnapping. Get a grip, $6 million man. No one wants to go to jail for kidnapping you, no matter where they were born. And other countries don't want an international incident with the largest military in the world just for you. You'll be okay. Do yourself a favor and don't go to countries that we're currently at war with the U.S. And most likely you'll be fine. You're a king, act like one. One more thing, if you're black, you have even less to worry about. Yes, you're still American, but international racism has painted a poor black Americans tag on you all over the world. Chances are, the locals can relate to you far more than they can relate to the white folks that go abroad. Just be safe like you'd be in the streets of America. People are different in many ways, but they are very much the same too. They just want to raise their families and get by day by day. They don't want you. All right, fellow Passport Kings, that's my tips for today. Tune in next Wednesday and I'll hook you up with some more excellent information. Wear your crown proud and find many reasons to flash your passport. This is a big earth. Never let anyone tell you that you're not a king or that you shouldn't travel abroad and often. I'm letting you know that you are and you should. Follow me on Twitter at Passport Kings and Facebook. Go to my website and keep up with our services and info on our next excursion. Don't forget to pick up that book, Why Do I Keep Choosing Thugs? And we will see you on our next trip. And you want to be down with the Kings. It'll be a family trip and I consider you family. I'll see you at www.passportkings.com. I'm out.